Today we'll learn the technique of uh, doing migration in Laravel. So migrations are like version control for your database, allowing a team to easily modify and share the application's data with schema. Migrations are typically paired with uh, Laravel schema builder to easily build your application's database schema. So basically with the database migration, you'll be able to easily migrate a database schema even without worrying about uh, the backend, the kind of database which is existing, whether it is a MySQL or a Postgres or any other kind of database. I'll be using the same uh, project which was used in the previous Laravel uh, tutorial. Let's head to the configuration section where I'll be making some changes to the database config file. So you can see different uh, configuration options available for uh, uh, different kind of database like MySQL, Postgres, SQLite, etc. And by default, it is being set to MySQL. So I'll be making some changes to the MySQL configuration because that is the one I'm using here. So I have uh, configured my MySQL in MAMP server, which is the local server I'm running. So there is a set of uh, default settings being done in the environment file. So whatever changes that you make will be picked up uh, in the database.php file uh, as the default one. So in my case, it will be as a local host uh, as uh, the uh, database uh, host. Tutorial DB is what I'll be using as the uh, database and a root and a password needs to be set if required uh, uh, in your local environment. So let me just launch my MAM server and run it. There uh, my MySQL and Apache server starts. So if you don't have a local server installed, uh, get any one of uh, either MAMP or ZAMP installed in your machine. So let me go to the localhost PHP my config section, my admin section and uh, create a new database called TutorialDB, which I had uh, set as the database uh, in my configuration in Laravel project. So currently I don't have any tables defined. So with the migration, what we'll try to do is uh, create the database schema from the Laravel project itself. So let me now install a very useful Laravel package named Laravel file generators, which will let me create migrations, controllers, seeds, etc. out of the box. So install the same, just grab the composer command to be run and paste it and execute it the same in your terminal. There you have it. There you go. We have installed the generator, which can be used in our project now. So uh, one more step that we need to do is to grab the register piece of code from there uh, for the provider and then paste it in your uh, provider sections uh, under app so this way the generator will be available for you within the project uh, locally so to check whether everything is working fine let's go back to the terminal and uh, type php artisan command and you can see that all the make generation commands are available now so with the uh, laravel package you will be able to run different kinds of migrations easily so i had made a, a small mistake in uh, defining the host uh, previously which i am making the rectification now so uh, for my map server the local host was different and i'm grabbing hold of the database name now and my username and password uh, 
are uh, as per the MAM specifications here. So uh, Laravel itself has created a couple of uh, migrations for me for initial use, like a migration for the users table, which has this uh, schema available, as well as for uh, create password uh, resets. So what we can try doing right now is to execute these migrations and see whether that uh, table gets created for the same. So I am running a command called PHP artisan migration and on execution, it migrates the database tables to my local server. So let me just check whether the migration has happened properly. Yes, so I have the tables created, the users table, which has the same structure which I had defined, which was available in the uh, Laravel, Laravel, Laravel migration you can see the same structure same applies to the password uh, reset table as well so these are the couple of predefined migrations which were available along with the, the laravel 5.1 installation there is one more uh, table called migration which keeps track of all the migrations which has happened based on uh, different batches which has been done so what we can try right now doing is create a new migration for a users user details table which will be uh, mapped to our uh, users table which we just migrated now so for that let's just go back to the laravel generators GitHub website and then grab hold of the PHP migration piece of uh, command which we can execute and create a new migration. So I'm just making a little modification for the one like I'm creating a user details uh, table migration. And right now I have created a new migration called user details. If I go back to the code and see it, uh, you can see that uh, the new migration has been generated successfully. So right now I want to actually create a foreign key relation with the user's table. So for that, let me just go and see the Laravel migration section of the website and see what all options are available there. So for creating a foreign key constraint I'll have to go back to the code and do this bit of coding so I create a user ID an unsigned integer And I set that user ID as a foreign key reference to the ID field of the user's table. So the same user table is the one which we had created during the initial migration. Also, I would like to add some more fields like first name and last name. So each and every data type that you want, which you need to migrate to MySQL or any other database can be found at the documentation section of uh, Laravel website. So I have defined the first name. 
and also the last name. Now I would like to add uh, one more field called uh, occupation. And now my migration is ready for doing a migration. So I go back to my command prompt, do a PHP artisan migrate. So Laravel will only migrate the newly created ones because it is keeping track of the already done migrations in its separate table. So let's just go back to the table structure and see whether it will happen. Yes, I have the user table details table now. And it has uh, all the ones which I had created. So let's say I just made a mistake in creating some data parameter. Let's say I, I had made a mistake in making occupation. Instead, I wanted it as profession. Then what I can do is I can do a PHP artisan migrate and roll back, so, which will roll back uh, the currently created migration. Then I, again, I can go back to the code, go to that specific migration and make the change. make it to profession and then I again do a migration. That's it. It's as simple as that. 